Hello, my name is Don. Welcome to episode 35 of my Football Manager Let's Play with Blackburn Rovers. Brought you back slightly earlier. I'll explain all that as we go. We're coming back for the Southampton game today. It's been two games since the last episode, I think. One or two. Not just the Swansea game. The last episode was, of course, Arsenal. This will continue uh, for this week. We're going to do the Southampton game, then we'll do the Man United game, Man City game, and Liverpool game. That'll be our five videos for this week. Um, the reason for that is I'm on holiday, I've got so little time to record, so while I don't want to record every game, I'm recording hopefully the bigger ones and sort of one extra one, so Liverpool, Man City, Man United and Southampton are four very good Premiership clubs, Mrs Wolves and West Brom, of course good clubs in their own right, but I felt of the games I had the options, they were the ones that were trimmable, if that makes sense. Um, so I'm away on holiday this week, so I'm now bulk recording. I've had some computer issues, which is why I've not uploaded previously. I've had some sort of lifetime stuff, uh, which uh, which has affected the amount I've been able to upload, which is why uh, there's been a lack of uploads of late. So I do apologise for that, guys. I hope you can bear with me. Um, we will be getting back into a schedule. Basically, I had two big recording days record for last a couple of weeks ago, and that was when my computer failed. I knew after that it was going to be difficult, and then stuff that would normally not be an issue for me recording around has it actually been an issue uh, so I've been unable to record uh, at all this week really this is the first day I've been able to record so I'm getting some more sort managers back up on the channel I think that went up yesterday this will be Saturday's episode I'm recording literally a few hours before this will go live so I'm going to collect myself enough time to get all these videos I need to record recorded um, so just leave it like that Team for this game is Jay Fulton's out, suspended, Pai's still injured, um, Joshua returns, and Jason Cummins is still injured, so big changes. So I just need to go back to the last game. I'm just going to quickly show you this goal from uh, the last game. We lost 2 0 to Swansea, but look at this goal. This is the Scott Warren own goal. I've submitted it into GW's fails of the week because it was so frustrating. I actually closed the game down after this. I was going to play. A little bit get to a record point uh, which would have been the Man United game but after this I just could not motivate myself to play the game for any longer at this point as you see Rea saves it it's on the post he then punches it against the post and Wharton just comes in and kicks it into the back of the net very very frustrating goal so we've done our team talk and all that so teams is Hor uh, Dara Horgan's in Primetta's in I don't think he's actually played in a stream game yet so that's why I went for him over Petri remember he uh, a live come even uh, Digby is going on to the right hand side now that's just because I didn't want two youngsters on the same side so it allows as much as Digby uh, youngster he's a bit more experienced than the other lads so he'll be able to cover more for Horgan and hopefully Charlie Taylor helps out with Primeta or Prim Enta Antonio let's call him Antonio Scott Wharton goes into the ball playing defender role We've also got the likes of Charlie Adam returning and Liam Henderson returning. Liam Henderson hasn't played for a little while. I was going to maybe play Martin Gibson again, but I decided to put him on the bench. Uh, and Ben Arthur's actually played a little bit better the recent last time, so there was a debate about playing him as well. Uh, but I just decided to give Henderson the nod. Matthew Knox starts up front with Paul McDonnell, which would have been an under-23 strike partnership last year, of course. Uh, Adam and Joshua making changes in the midfield, so it's a completely changed midfield from the last game. Uh, with Joshua returning from suspension and Virgil van Dijk's got in front of David Rea there and scores inside 5 minutes uh, not good let's not we've just had so many good results recently let's not just throw them all away now please team Rea comes out gets into no man's land and Virgil van Dijk almost gets a free header against Scott Wharton not good enough there from the team and it's actually shown it's got Wharton's rating down at a 6.4. Rhea plays it forward for Matthew Knox. It's headed down Paul McDonald back into Matthew Knox. Ah, Fraser Forster. Getting in. Former Celtic goalkeeper, of course. Very, very good goalkeeper in my opinion. But Matthew Knox unable to beat him in towards Digby. Fraser Forster equal to it again. Just not good enough from us in this early sort of stages here. Forster plays it forward, Wharton away, Kese, Ramu, Wilhena, Charlie Austin, Buffal, 
what is with the goalkeeping? What is with the goalkeeping in this game? He just runs past the ball. It's a good time pass by Austin. Anywhere he's offside, it's actually maybe a thought of him. And Rhea just phases right through it. I don't know what more to say about that. That is frustrating. This came from a big chance where their keepers made a big save in a similar position. Uh, McDonald bursting down that wing. Good ball into Liam Henderson. Charlie Adam, Matthew Knox, shot blocked, Taggart away. Out for a throw in. Uh, I feel this is the stage now where I'm regretting not buying lots of players and buying Big Boot as a one big player instead when we had our full strength team. It wasn't so much of an issue. But now that we're having to play all these youngsters, Primata, Horgan, uh, Knox and McDonald up front, it's not looking quite so good. Although that said, Knox and McDonald are two best performing strikers right now eh, for the team, so it's maybe not a bad thing in that sense. But too much of this inexperience is maybe hindering us a little bit at this level. It's just not ideal. Casey, Austin, Gabardini, Primata gets a good tackle in the young Portuguese man. Liam Henderson, good ball to Paul McDonald. It's a lovely free ball for Matthew Knox again, straight at Fraser Forster though. I uh, don't really know what to say about that to be honest guys. Adam, dig boo. That's well over the bar from the big Frenchman. Scott Wharton's having a howler as well. I'm going to give him an individual team talk to just calm down and concentrate basically. Casey, Gabriadini, blocked cross, falls for Casey, it's well over the bar, it's getting away with that one, as it remains Southampton 2, Blackburn 0, at Ewood, Wharton, Horgan, back to Digbu, building patiently, Charlie Adam, Liam Henderson, Paul McDonnell, Charlie Adam, Charlie Taylor now. Good ball in. Nobody makes a move to get to that though. Freeman. Gabbiadini. Romu. Our patient build up didn't work on Southampton. That's a lovely ball over the top for Charlie Austin. He shouldn't be the quickest, but he still gets up with her head up all over the fence. David Rea makes a save this time. Bit frustrated with him for the two goals, but can't fault him for that one there. Making a little bit of an amends. Charlie Adam away. Uh, Buffal is going to win that race quite comfortably. Comes inside. Casey now. Or Casey, I'm not sure. I'm going to go with Casey. Gabby Adini. Ramu. Out wide to Togart on the left wing. Buffal. Ramu. Rohena. Gabby Adini. Ramu. Back around to Togart on the left wing again. Dig boot. Just knocks it behind for a corner. Very good defending that. Cam as you like. No stresses. Buffal with the corner though. Whipped in. Commentary is furious with that penalty decision. I'm sorry about my reaction guys. I was down here sort of waving my hands about. You wouldn't have seen that I don't think. But it's a penalty nonetheless. Having a word in, we're going to find ourselves 3 0 down. I don't even know what to say about that. Gabby Adini. Rhea gets a hand to it onto the post. Not enough to keep it out as Manolo Gabby Adini opens his account for the season. Apparently, it was a dubious penalty. I hope it was. But it's not ideal. Too many youngsters on the pitch. We've not got a choice with our squad. The board are giving me nothing for the uh, January window. We could be in trouble this season. Primata. Pronouncing his name so wrong, by the way. Wharton. Taylor. Charlie Adam. Liam Henderson. 
lovely ball into Charlie Taylor. Good ball in. Paul McDonnell, always had a eye on that man, tucks it home, keeps the score line respectable at 3 1 at half time. But this was all about that pass from Liam Henderson, in my opinion. Such a beautiful ball. Charlie Taylor read it brilliantly. Paul McDonald just gets in front of his man to nod home. Delighted with that. And it keeps us in the game just a little bit. Going to go aggressive because this is god awful right now. Mm, any changes I can make? It's going to change things. We'll bring Charlie Adam off for David Ivan. Charlie Adam not having the best of games. Just trying change something up Freeman Gabby Adini Ivan with the tackle and might bring on Martin Gibson as well soon Gabby Adini with the free kick it's a good effort Rhea plucks it out of the air though so that keeps us within some sort of touch and distance of a draw as much as you can be in touch and distance of a draw going to bring on Petri for Primata. Primata's had an absolute horror show. Maybe the Finn can come on and change things up. Scott Wharton will hopefully be back for the next game. And uh, Sorry, Jay Fulton can hopefully be back for the next game and we can have a strong back, a normal sort of strong back three. And I think our last sub will probably be Henderson off for Martin Gibson. Just give another youngster some game time. There's no point in us trying to enforce this game now. Liam Henderson isn't having the best games. Just bring on a lad to give him experience, really. And I'm very, very keen to see how Martin Gibson develops in the future, so I'm happy to give him all the game time I can, because I've got big, big hopes for the lad, particularly for the price we paid. Um, and I just triggered the year, year, year extension on his contract that was by the club. I just triggered that, so he's got a two and a half year contract left now rather than a one year contract, one and a half year contract so I don't have to stress about it at the end of the season making sure that it's a done deal uh, increasing our wage budget when really we need to be strengthening squad depth Ivan Petri Charlie Taylor Martin Gibson lovely ball into Matthew Knox two young Scottish players coming out of the Scottish lower leagues of course that's a beautiful ball from Petri can't quite get there but he's going to pick up again the Finn. Joshua. Ivan. Knox just runs away from the ball there frustratingly. Ah, Tadic. Romu. Over for Charlie Austin again. Again, he shouldn't be the quickest. Uh, we do get a player there. Digbu eventually unorthodoxly gets it. And Ivan has minced uh, Romu there. Should have had that ball fairly comfortably but has failed to do so and ends up with a yellow card for his troubles. Uh, I don't really know what more to say on this game, to be honest with you. So, not being the best of performances by us, looking like a 3-1 defeat, we did improve in the second half. Um, certainly after their third goal, maybe some shadiness about the penalty, we'll find out in just a second. Um, I'm just going to go, I'm not happy with your performance. I'm going to do it calmly though. Um, maybe in a few team biased towards the visitors so probably was a penalty decision then but a lot of decisions were going against us that maybe wouldn't have normally anyway guys that will end this episode thank you very much for watching it's just a quick episode today I'm going to get the rest of this week's episodes recorded uh, I hope you enjoyed if you did a like and subscribe is always appreciated and I'll hopefully catch you all next time